to, to hear it has been told that we are joined by Thomas today and by Big Tom's other children, Dermot and Ashling and Siobhan, and all of their children too, 22 in the extended family. And it is so appropriate then that Big Tom will be honoured here in Castle Blaney. And it's a grand phrase he would have liked, monumentalised in bronze amongst the people who know him best, who loved him and will remember him. And may I commend and thank the sculptor Mark Richards for crafting what will be a magnificent public art addition to this town in a lovely setting. So let it stand here in Castle Blaney as a reminder of all that is best in our republic, love of home, our capacity for solidarity and for friendship, our commitment to one another, and for memories that are remembering the best of what we shared, continue to share, and might share in the future. Let this statue stand as an inspiration to the values, and may they deepen the qualities embodied in the person of Big Tom. And above all, let it stand as a tribute to the remarkable life and legacy of Big Tom McBride. I so want to pay tribute as President of Ireland to all those who have had anything to do with this magnificent achievement, and it will be the greatest pleasure to unveil the statue. Mila Buikas, thank you very much. I will now call on President Higgins, his wife Sabina, and Tom's daughter Siobhan Ford to accompany myself to the statue where Anouk Duran will unveil this lasting memory to County Monaghan's Big Tom McBride. Four country roads winding to the town and County Galway. Four country roads leading to the friends I left behind. Four dusty roads winding to the town of Glenmady. Four dusty roads. Forever in the caverns of my mind Once in a while I hear the sound of music in the winter night I see... Margot, what did Big Tom mean to you? Everything in the world. I mean, uh, when Tom died, a part of me died with Tom. And uh, this statue, I hope, as a monument to the man that loved everybody. He really and truly did, and I think that was the secret of his success. You know, and he had the common touch. He loved not the big shots, but he loved the small man. And I miss him so, so much, as you know, Hugh. Uh, but I'm so happy. It was hard to convince people to put this statue up. It was very difficult. Some people didn't listen to me for a long time. But it's here now today, Hugh, and thank you for coming. And hello to everybody. And come to Castle Blaney and see the statue of Big Tom. Thank you. Margot, where exactly is the statue uh, located for people outside of Castle Blaney? It's in the Market Square under the courthouse. It's uh, not on the main street, but if people come into Castle Blaney and head for Aura. Tom is facing Orem, across from the old log cabin that he bought many years ago. It's no longer there now, but uh, it's sitting across this world. This is the place he wanted it to be. One day Dermot, his son, took him out in the car for a drive, and I happened to be in the house with Rose when he came back, and he said to me, Mark, I want the statue. He says, face Nora and across from the old log cabin. And his dream has come true. And I hope he's looking down on us today. Thank you, Big Tom, we love you. By the side of a clear crystal fountain Of a 
loved one passed away Shall I never see you more, gentle mother In the fields where the wild flowers grow Gathering flowers as they grew amongst the wild wood And I cherished was no trouble unto you Some children take a liking to their parents While some others fill their mother's heart with pain But someday they will be sorry for their blindness When crying will not take her back again Shall I never see you more, gentle mother? In the fields where the wild flowers grow, I am sorry 